As we mentioned, there are some 100 foreign journalists in Pyongyang upon invitation from North Korea to cover its Workers' Party Congress. But rarely anything regarding the political gathering have we heard from those news outlets. Up until today, a small group got into that uh, conference hall. But, uh, but up until today, none of them even got within 200 meters from the main hall. Not only that, today we're learning that a BBC reporting crew was expelled for his reporting after being detained for hours. Our Quintua has the details. A BBC reporter who was in Pyongyang before and during the 7th Workers' Party Congress has been expelled from North Korea along with his team. The CNN reporter who first reported the news said on his Twitter feed that BBC Tokyo correspondent Rupert Wingfield Hayes had been detained and then expelled by North Korea for reporting deemed, quote, disrespectful of leader Kim Jong-un, as North Korean authorities had said during a press conference. Although it's not exactly known which parts of the reports the North objects to, the stories highlighted aspects of life in Pyongyang, and one of them referred to North Korea's leader as corpulent. The correspondent, a producer and a cameraman, arrived in North Korea prior to the Congress, accompanying Nobel Prize laureates on a research trip. The BBC said the reporter was questioned for eight hours on the weekend and made to sign a statement before his release. It's not a big exaggeration to say that reporting on the Workers' Party Congress hasn't been any easier for the journalists who traveled all the way to Pyongyang for the once-in-a-generation event than it has been for us here in Seoul across the border. Journalists with the more than 100 international media outlets in the North Korean capital had to be content with watching the sessions on screens outside of the venue instead of being allowed inside, despite having been invited by the regime to attend. It's North Korea. I'm happy that we are here and able to even stand at the front. But at the same time, yeah, it's frustrating not to get any access or any information. We, we, what is happening there? So it's like, it's interesting because we have to write about that. But. Reporters found themselves touring locations such as an electric cable factory, a silk mill and the Pyongyang subway, places the North Korean regime apparently wanted them to cover even more than the proceedings of the rare Congress. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.